Butch is rebuilding this carb today. I'm gonna be doing some stuff over here on Earl's truck. This thing will never run again. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're taking pictures there just to uh, be certain. At least the outside will be hooked up right. <laughs> Look at this, Granger's camera. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is like me showing up to a gunfight with a revolver compared to uh, his, uh, his uh, M60. <laughs> Granger, you're a city boy. You need to go back to the city. Shoot, shoot. Beautiful day in Texas. Ooh. It's like 65, sunny. It's Halloween, by the way. We are gonna pass out beer and candy. So the parents are getting beers if they want them, and the kids are getting candies. Going to uh, Broken Bow, Oklahoma, and uh, Texarkana, Texas. Yep, we're gonna have two relatively short drives. Yeah, yeah, it's a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be right back here. Yeah, we'll be right back here uh, working on this uh, not a turd. Not a turd, yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure, we'll, ooh, I'm sure we'll have some stuff to do on our uh, turds, though. Yeah. Hopefully well, we don't I'm, run I'm into still, any problems on the road. I'm still dripping diesel fuel. Picking up some folks. Perfect. We made it. We made it. Got Butch back in. I'm fixing to uh, pull my bus right up in there. Bet you wish you put some shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> there, I saw you kind of uh, tiptoeing around. Where okay. you were first parked and we were right there, I was like, I'll just run out there and tow. <laughs> and then you moved and I was like, God! <laughs> Are you stealing this truck? Yeah, because liberals can't steal it. <laughs> right. Right next to the corn dog shop. Fantastic. It's always something. Not exactly sure what it is. Everything looks to be all right. But it's always seen. Fantastic. Yeah, he said he's closing this whole road, so I guess I'll just stay over here by the yellow line. So, <laughs> you know, this is this is the view the engine has of us a lot. All the time. The engine just sits there and looks at us like this. We're always just staring inside here. <laughs> like It's probably sitting in there thinking, what are these chumps want now? Right, yeah. If there was a camera in here, this is the view that it would be all the time. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on here? Hmm. Something's wrong. 
bus broke walking home. <laughs> Turntastic. Well, no more than 10 miles down the road and cylinder number three dropped again. Turntastic. I'm gonna have to spend 15, 17, some, maybe spend the night down in San Antonio. Turntastic. All right guys, made it back to the farm. Had the regen issue, the cylinder drop issue. They might coincide with each other because after I regen, I didn't have any, uh, I had all six cylinders the rest of the way home. So, uh, not sure exactly what's going on with that, but uh, we'll figure it out. We always do, right? Hey everybody, it's that time again. Christmas time, right around the corner. 2020 has been awful. Terrible, just to say the least. And we know that there are families out there that need help. They need turkeys, they need presents for their kids, they need to keep the lights on. You know, people have lost their jobs. This is a tough, tough time of year. Very tough. We over here at the Risky Business team, including our social media moderator, Leah, Leah. are putting together $500 to help one family that is in need that's had a really rough 2020. And we want to be able to help you out. Send us an email explaining your situation. We will uh, pick one family, Bull and Butch at gmail.com to send this donation to. Bull and Butch, B-U-L-L, -L, the letter N, Butch at gmail.com. You gotta follow us on Instagram, follow us on YouTube so that we can talk to you, communicate. If you've had trouble this year, which a lot of people have, uh, we'd like to hear from you. We're gonna read through the stories, find out what's going on with people, pick one winner to uh, get you set up for Christmas. Yep. Get, At least help out a bit, especially this year. Let us know your story. We'll try to get you some help. Get you $500, help you out. Y'all have a good one. Merry Christmas. I'm just fixing to head back from East Texas, heading back to Central Texas here, and uh, look what I get involved in here. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bunch of folks down here pulling for Trump. Good stuff. Headed up to vote. Guess who I'm voting for? I'm gonna go get that done today. While well, me and Butch took a couple days off, I'm gonna go vote, get my truck washed, get some salt for my softener, go check out a new gun safe that I'm looking at, because I'm running out of space. Uh, running out of space for the guns, not for the safe. I mean, nice big old 40 gun safe, 45 minute rated cannon safe, uh, digital keypad, it's got the spindle lock on it, eight point lock. Got it at Tractor Supply. This is my uh, Christmas present from my dad and from Melissa. Now me and Butch are gonna offload this sucker at my house and try to get it inside uh, and get it put in place. So you'll get to follow along with that nonsense. It's about 500 pounds, it's like four something. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. Who'd well, you vote for? Kanye West? Sorry. Ice Cube. Today was a good day. Butch, I'm going to go on a search for this stolen stool. Somebody, somewhere, what the heck's going on over there? I don't even know, I don't even know what to say about what's going on over there. Uh, somebody stole our Parts Plus stool. We, they gave us two of them. One of them is missing, so we're on the hunt for it. All right, so back to the stolen stool. Let's go find out what's, what's happening. I'm gonna go raise some hell. Wait a minute. I'm gonna go start questioning folks on my stool. 
Caleb? I don't see anybody. It's not in Granger's office. That's the one spot I thought it might be. It's not in Tyler's office. Oh. There it is. Well, the missing stool has been found in a laundry room inside the warehouse. I bet you Caleb had something to do with it when I see him. Biggest ties of anybody ever. So I'm just testing out my Halloween costume. I feel like I need an accessory or something. Though. Hmm. Maybe you need a light. You need a chain. <laughs> You're right. The trunk on The trunk chain? Yeah. Oh, that would be great. It's a big old gold chain. Well, Butch. We got a, another week closed out here at the farm. We're getting awfully close to starting this bad boy. Real close. All we got to do is get to that carburetor. You ready to roll? I reckon I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. We got these. Uh, we got these cards. We got these cards. And we're gonna start leaving them at all the fuel pumps, so people will. Uh, subscribe to our channel pretty soon it's going to be the the trucker channel <laughs> what you doing i'm uh setting up the comment picker to pick the winner awesome we're here in uh at johnny's barbecue in salado semi but huh, did it work? Did it work? Yeah I'm going home. He's got to wait around. You know why? I got to wait. Butch luck. <laughs> he drives the bus that has the merch on it and merch is always the last one. The last to roll. Yep the last thing packed up. Do you think it's going to start? Yeah. He didn't say right now. Oh. <laughs> good point. Yeah, I think it's gonna start one day. Yeah. <laughs> it's today. It's gonna. It's gonna happen today. I thought mechanics coming. were supposed to be uh, pessimistic. Oh, the grouchy guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna start. I really <laughs> don't. That's, that's bus driving. Yeah. <laughs> Restoration guys are different than mechanics. Restoration guys are like, oh hell yeah, it's gonna start. I'll Boy, it's start. brand new. Everything's new. Yeah. Ooh, I don't see why it wouldn't. Three, two. two. What? Granger decided that we needed, a toolbox. we needed a toolbox so stuff isn't just laying on top of the uh, table. table and this will roll around to, you know places and instead of walking back and forth oh wrong wrench wrong wrench <laughs> wrong yeah. socket wrong socket oh 10 mils missing yeah we uh, have it right next to us yep we could just reach over and grab it wrong truck it's, it's uh Weird, but it's the same. Fixing to take, take uh, Granger's truck down to uh, the upholstery, uh, John Fox upholstery. See what we can do about some uh, some little rips and tears here and there, and get this thing cleaned up for that contest. Head over to Ye Apparel. Uh, every dollar spent gets you an entry into uh, the giveaway for Granger's truck.
What we got going on today? Gonna shoot, spend some money. <laughs> yeah. Just bought this uh, <laughs> box of a thousand rounds. Oh, that's that's nice. Uh, for a thousand dollars, thousand rounds of forty for a thousand dollars, a dollar a piece. That makes me want to cry. But it's no different than food or water. <clears throat> Time to reload. Got to have it. Yeah, yeah, you could reload. Got a little bit of uh, competition going on today. Who do you think's gonna win? Us. Who do you think's gonna win? Or the cops? One jam? Oh, no, it was three shots, so. She's ready? Ready? Stand by. <laughs> Butch doesn't know how to count. Ready? Stand by. <laughs> Review. Review. Shooter ready? Ready? Stand by. Well, do it like the old gunslingers do. <laughs> Just don't hit the camera. I'm, that's why I'm getting over here. <laughs> All right, ready? You got two cards. Yep. Queen, four diamonds. Hit damn thing. Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Orange. Point nine three. It's quick. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Shooter ready? Ready. Stand by. Blue. <laughs> what was that? I quit. <laughs> Shooter ready? Stand by. Green. <laughs> I figured I was going to hit it on the first try, so I was like, I stopped. 322. 322. Third shot. What was yours was 0 .98. I think I can shoot faster. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some more here. <laughs> there you go, Butch got it. Ready? Ready. Stand by. White. 1.59. Half a second slower. Hope I don't shoot the camera. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Red. Yeah. Five, five, three. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. Yellow. 187. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> Turntastic. America. Coop? That's antifreeze, Coop. <laughs> Is it, 
going? Y'all got a step ladder? He's gonna climb up on something. Some trash eating dog. Almost got it. Good. Good. Oh, he almost had it. <laughs> Butch is a bully. He's bred, man. He's already C7. He ain't changing. Oh, you got half a burrito in there. Somebody, that's what he smells. Holy cow. Here you go, Coop. <laughs> all right, that's enough, buddy. That's all she wrote. You got it. Coop. Did you do it, Coop? Coop, you need a shirt? As soon as I got into the snack, so Coop comes a running. Did you steal our stool, Coop? Did you steal our stool? No? Okay. I believe you. Coop, I thought I thought you said you didn't steal it. Coop, what are you doing here on a Saturday, Coop? Ain't nobody got no food for you, Coop. Don't you take any days off? He's like, what days off? He's like, you got some Whataburger? <laughs> got any of that there, Whataburger? Whataburger. We now know why Coop stole our bar stool. Why you got a, why, why you got a stool handkerchief? Yeah, or a Coop. stool bandana? Cause you're a stool thief? Are you a stool thief? He's Coop? like, mm. He's a stool thief. So on the way to the hotel today, our Uber driver was a clear Democrat. Uh, he was listening to, you know, some, CNN. So, was it, <laughs> it was some sort of, was it on XM or something, CNN? Yeah. Oh, it was, okay. So, yeah, he was listening to that. And then, uh, God bless him. Yeah. Poor soul. Uh, so we ended up, uh, you know, getting uh, out of the Uber, you know, we just didn't say anything or whatever. But as soon as we come outside, to uh, wait on someone to pick us up, the same Uber driver rolls up with uh, a couple of country folks in the back, and the wife was not happy. <laughs> no, no, she didn't like that at all. Had, she had to get pulled out of the car uh, by the husband, and he was just calling her a mean ass because she must have just tore into this guy, and she was like, I just want to breathe on him. And she was huffing and puffing at him. If you're an Uber driver, man, just keep your keep, keep everything yes. down to your... Uh, Put it on slow jams. <laughs> right, just put it on something neutral. People in this country can only be pushed so far. You used to, you'd learn that when you was a little, a little kid. You'd learn how far you could push people. Yeah, before you got your ass whooped. Before you got your ass whooped. Well, nowadays everybody's a bully. So they don't have the ability to learn where that line is. Right, and once they, once they get out of the city, <laughs> and they think they're they think oh well I was able to tear this city apart and they show up in uh, in the suburbs yeah. that that's when the ass whooping begins because right. pe people aren't leaving the suburbs to get away from them people are leaving the cities because the media claims that the president's been elected yeah and it, it couldn't be farther from the truth right now nope it, the Constitution clearly states <clears throat> Look, that, that, that every legal ballot has to be counted, and if somebody wants a recount, they can get the recount. Why would you be upset that we do the things the right way? America. <laughs> Why would you be upset? Why would you be running for the president of a country and you don't even understand the laws of that country? The Constitution is our law, so we have to follow it. Absolutely. We don't rewrite it just because somebody don't like it or it hurts their feelings. Yeah. That's part of being an American. And if you don't like it here, you don't have to change it. You're not a tree. You can leave. America.
somebody showed up and got on the bus last night. Don't ever do that. I know, you know, you want to meet Granger or things like that, but at one in the morning he's sleeping. And to have fans just walk up on the bus, turntastic, is not cool. That does not impress Granger or the band or anybody. That's this is where they live. We have stuff that, you know, you can't just walk into somebody's house. If I would have been on that bus and somebody walked onto it, there you would have had a muzzle in your face. You can't just walk up into somebody's home and and, and wake them up. If you if you just decide that you're going to walk up on the bus, you're lucky you don't get shot. Good thing I wasn't there. That's exactly what I just said. But get get us a project right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. It would take us 70 years. What are you doing? Getting ready for a live stream here at the Weir Truck Me, fourth annual Weir Festival. What we got going on here? Well, I did not put it back together, almost ready to go upstairs. All right. More AC work. Turntastic. Yes, sir. It's ridiculous. Never ending. These things are trash. Turntastic. Okay, they go in the fridge inside of our shop. Grab two ice cold Coors Light. Ice cold. Ice cold. And then they go do their thing, and then they just leave them sitting out here in the sunshine. Trash. Nope. I just kicked them into the yard. We're gonna hit them with the mower. What the cornbread hell's going on around here? They, we had two dumpsters sitting there, perfectly fine dumpsters, and they brought us. Two and took the two we had into the same dumpster. Yeah, these ones are just raggedy. Or did we not pay the bill? And this guy is taking pictures of them like they're fancy or something. I think he's a Democrat. <laughs> Hope you got a big dumpster because I'm putting my trash in it. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Those are our dumpsters, man. I just, I just go up there and throw all the trash in the ones he just took. <laughs> All right, we got some ad space for sale. <laughs> Anybody wants to uh, help us out? As you can see, uh, Fox Auto has already you can, jumped in on this opportunity. You can, you can do it. You too can. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here? Game winner quad pod 2.0 hunting stand. We're gonna take that to the ranch and shoot a deer? Yeah. That's so this will exactly be part one. The way I feel the shooting the deer will be part two. All right. Place. You got the instructions, Bull? I mean, Butch? Yeah, Hopefully, right it came with something. All right. <laughs> I'm sure you guys could figure it out, though, without it. I wouldn't climb it after that. <laughs> <laughs> Step two. A lot of steps. Look at them. There's the wrenches they give us to put this together with. <laughs> oh, that's right. I, I would hang myself if I tried there. to put this together. Did you skip some steps? At least a hundred. Yeah. Yeah, I had to go from, what was it, nine to 17 to put this seat together. What, 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 so what are all these for? To put legs. the legs. In. And the braces. Yeah. Legs. Legs. Leg, legs. Legs. Magic legs, Luke. L-A-I-G, legs. Legs. <laughs> legs. <laughs> 
put the legs on that deer stand. Where the deer stand? Yeah. Okay. All right, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Put the legs on it. First, we're gonna fire up Tyler's Raptor. Yeah, that Tyler Smith 11 right here. Uh, we're gonna jump in his Raptor. We're gonna do some burnouts. Then we're gonna hook up the uh, tow hitch. Heck yeah, and, do some burnouts uh, and stuff. Hook up the trailer and drop this uh, top of this deer stand over there. On the trailer and then assemble the way. So today, since I'm not going to be home, usually we put up the uh, Christmas stuff the day after Thanksgiving, but we've got a show. And then me and Butch have some stuff to do shortly after that with Granger. So I'm going to uh, put up my outdoor Christmas lights and get all the stuff out of the attic. Took all day, but got everything done on the house. Everything's done on the outside of the house. Now I gotta do, we, we gotta do the inside of the house, uh, which will have to be another day. If you like these videos, please subscribe, like, hit that notification button. Everything you need to know about this channel is linked in the description below. We'll see you next time. Deuces. Deuces.